What's up everyone, MK Tom Brady here. So the patch that we got that hit late last week in which Janet Cage was added to the game. In the patch notes, second line down, you will see that they addressed an issue that was causing frame rate to drop during combat league matches. Now I'm not gonna speculate why this new issue we're dealing with is going on. Maybe this didn't work and this fix ended up messing something else up. Or it could be something that happened and totally different that was done that caused this issue to happen. But either way, like I said, I'm not going to speculate what the cause was. Right now, not only is the uh, issue significantly worse in Combat League, but it is now also happening in Casual and King of the Hill. And this has happened ever since the last patch dropped. Uh, some tweets here. Honeybee says, and I hate when people say I rarely complain because when you have an issue like this, it shouldn't ever be viewed as complaining. This is a product you paid for and you would like it to work properly. Uh, but he says that right now, MK1 online is the worst it has ever been ever since the last patch dropped. He said that he is frequently experiencing frame rate drops in every match he plays and obviously asking NRS to fix this. And we have some tweets here. Ketchup says... MK1 online is almost unplayable at the moment. This is really unfortunate. When someone asked, hasn't this been a recurring issue with MK1? Obviously, Ketchup is not going to get into all that line of talk. But he does say that he hasn't had that many issues until the Janet patch. That right now the performance seems to have taken a massive hit, especially when the ping spikes. And there were several other players who spoke out that were in the Coliseum tournament last night. And we're saying that the, the online right now was almost unbearable. Like it was really, really bad. And this is the part where I'm sure everybody is waiting for me to absolutely obliterate NRS into the floor over this. But surprisingly, I'm not because within 24 hours, we have communication. So within 24 hours of people expressing their concerns, NRS responds says we are aware of lag issues affecting certain online modes in MK1. Our team is currently working on a fix. Keep an eye here for updates. Now, who knows how long this fix could take? It could be soon. It could be a while. We all know what, you know, it took, what, 45 days to fix the DC issue. So I'm not really sure how long this is going to take. And this is kind of a recurring theme, whether they do something, it causes an issue, then they have to do a fix for the fix. And sometimes a fix for the fix for the fix. But the difference is normally we get no communication at all. Or if we do, it's weeks after people have been talking about the issue. This time we got it immediately. So I'm going to give them some praise on this one. This is something we'd love to see more of. And even though we kind of have to have a wait and see how long is this going to take or how many attempts it could take, the fact that they did respond right away makes us feel like, all right, they're aware of it and something is going to be done. So now I'm going to give them some really high praise for this. This is what we want to see more of NetherRealm. So I'm not going to kill them over this. Just right now, just know when you play online, uh, you're going to have not the best experience, but they are aware of it. And thank you, NRS, for responding right away. Uh, please, more of this. However, there's another issue I want to talk about. Now, this was tweeted out, or, or this was talked about very early in the game. Somebody uh, uh, at me on Twitter right when the game first launched. But, you know, there are some people who say, quote, unquote, the game needed six more months in development. And they needed more time, so I figured I'd wait those six months, let's just say, to really talk about this. So what is happening right now is I was, say, tagged me, Ernesto from Button Check, Dynasty, Maximilian, Sonic Fox. I probably should have tagged Mike Hollow in this as well. But right now that there is an issue in which, for some reason, um, they say the players in West Africa that they play fine with some other regions like Europe and Middle East. I don't really know how fine that is because, again, when you're going from country to country or continent to continent, the net code is still not all that good. But I guess they're saying compared to what they have within their own region, that, you know, it's, it's a godsend to be playing somebody else outside of the region. He's saying that within their region, they should be getting, you know, maybe 30 MS. It's MK1's net code, so maybe... 
a little higher, 60, 70, whatever. He's saying, but it's 300 MS instead. It's not an issue with their internet providers. It's an issue with how the game connects us online. It seems the game is connecting them with servers outside of their region and that they are... So basically he's saying is, if they're playing their neighbor, instead of connecting them to a localized server, both them and their neighbor is going to be connected to a server somewhere in Europe. So instead of low ping, they're going to be dealing with 300 MS, even though they live right next door to each other, and that it is unbearable to play people within their region. So right now, they're always going to get high ping. If they play out of their region, because it's significantly out of their region, they're going to get high ping. But I let's just say 150 MS, maybe, uh, maybe 100 MS. But within their region, instead of getting those better pings, you know, you know, 50, 60 MS, 30 MS, instead they're getting even worse ping than when they play outside of their region. And apparently nothing has been done about this. And look, this is just some of the things, this is what I guess we mean when we say people paid for a product and they're not getting their money's worth. Now, there are people who say, well, they don't care what any of you have to say they got your money, just shut up about it and move on. However, when it comes to something like this, like to tell people, you know, for six months that they don't matter, they got your money, they don't care what you have to say. This is some of the stuff that causes angry mobs to happen. Now, at this point, he says there's a server in South Africa. He doesn't know why that that server is, is not a server they use to connect people to. Just wants to know if NRS can please do something about it. Now, obviously, they're not going to hear anything I have to say. They don't care what I have to say. Nobody cares what I have to say. But hopefully, somebody can reach them and help these players out. Because imagine you're trying to play your neighbor and you got a 300 MS connection. Uh, I mean, as a paying customer, I would say unacceptable. You charged me $109 for this and six months later, this is still going on. And I don't think that they've addressed this at all. So hopefully those players there can get some help and get a fix for that. As always, you know, thanks for watching everyone. Let me know what you guys think. I do think it is a good sign to see NRS giving some immediate feedback for an issue like this. Because again, I was playing a lot over the weekend. I streamed for seven hours nonstop gameplay yesterday. And it was horrible. Uh, but... You know, hopefully this is a fix that happens sooner rather than later. And hopefully those players over in West Africa can get some help. Uh, NRS, come on, man. You know, I know whatever you want to say, you are Warner Brothers, whoever. But the bottom line is you can't charge people $109 and expect them to be happy that stuff like this is still persisting six months later and that no one is even addressing it uh, from there or from Warner Brothers. So thanks for watching, everyone. Love the feedback in the comments. Stay tuned for more content.